In this video, you will learn how to set up your DX9 and DX18 radio to use with the Chroma. All right, first things first, this radio is a DX9, but we can program the same way on a DX18, so uh, that'll work for you. First thing we're going to do is hold down the roller and turn the radio on. That's going to get us into system setup, and it will allow us to select a new model. Once we're there, we can go to model select and pick a new model. I've got this one made, but we'll go ahead and make a new one, add new model, hit create, and it will make it. We can confirm that we're on that model by going to select again. Now we're on the 23 model here, so we'll go ahead and select that. From this same menu, we want to scroll down to channel assign and select that, and then go to the next page. Push down on the roller again, and now we're here. And the first thing I like to do is just clear out every single one of these so that we don't have any uh, confusing issues later on as we're programming this. So we'll just clear them all out, and that way we adjust what we want and nothing else. So we'll go back to gear, and we're going to set gear to B. Now we can cycle the switch that I want, or we can actually go physically through here and select it. But I'll go ahead and just select B by cycling the flight mode switch. That's going to be all of our flight modes. Now we're going to go to AUX1, and we're going to make that A. That's going to give us our gimbal control. I'm just going to cycle the switch. Go to A, and now we're going to go to AUX2, and we're going to put this, because the manual says to do it on the right knob, you can do it on the right roller or anywhere else, but this will be your gimbal control. Um, I can just cycle that, and now it's on the right knob. And then that's all we need to do for channel assign. So we can hit the back button and back out of here. And now we can hit back again, because now we're going to go into the other menu. Go ahead and fire this up. Now we're going to go into servo setup and confirm that all the reversing is the same or not reversed. So we'll go to reverse, and we'll just confirm here every of these black bars is on the bottom. If one of them were to be up top, um, then that means it's reversed, but you want them on the bottom. So that's the default, but just in case, I like to check those. Now we can back out of the servo setup and go to throttle cut. And here we're going to make the throttle cut on our bind button, so I can just cycle that. That's usually switch I, select that, and then this whole menu will come up. We don't want to delay in there, but everything is set up already out of the box. So just click that, and you'll notice up here that you're, it's actually working. Just confirm that. Now you can hit the back button again and go to uh, back into servo setup for travel. And here we want to go and adjust the aux 1 to 140 on the top side and 120 on the bottom side. But to get there, we have to cycle the A switch to bring us down there. So now we're on 120. Select that, hit the back button hit the back button again, and now you're all set. That's everything you need to do to set up your DX9 and DX18 radio. For the written setup guide for this radio and more, please visit nochroma.com.